The user should log in as a domain administrator and uh, then run the server manager. Right click uh, on the role tab and select the add roles. The user selects uh, the Active Directory Certificate Services role and clicks Next. The system opens the introduction to Active Directory Certificate Services window and the user should click the Next button to continue. Here the user should select the role service to install uh, for Active Directory Certificate Services. Certificate Authority role has to be selected and then the user also clicks uh, Next. The user should specify uh, the setup type and select Enterprise. Click Next to continue. Here the user should specify the CA type and select CA root and click the Next button. Then the user should select uh, Create a new private key. For configuration, the cryptography, the user can select the default value. Configure the CA name. The user should set a common name for the CA and click Next. Uh, the user has to set the validation period by selecting the days and click Next. After that, the user should configure the certificate database and click Next. Then the user should confirm the installation selections by clicking the Install button. The user can see in the Results window that the CA roles were installed successfully. In order to configure the template, the user should select the user template. After that, the user should duplicate the template. So right-click on the user template and select Duplicate Template. Then select the server, for example, Windows Server 2008 Enterprise, and click OK. In the Properties window, General tab, the user should enter the template display name, which should be CCM Proxy CA, and the template name also CCM Proxy CA. In the security tab, the user should select the group or username, which should be the authenticated. Users set the permissions for them: read, enroll, and auto enroll and click Apply. Now the duplicated CM, CCM Proxy CA template can be viewed on the Certificate Templates list. In order to add uh, the newly created Certificate Template to the list of the Certificate Templates, the user should run the Server Manager, then select Roles, Active Directory, Certificate Services, and CCMQA.when the common name of the newly created CA, and Certificate Templates. Right-click on the Certificate Templates, select New and Certificate Template to issue. From the list in the Enable Certificate Template, the user should select the User Proxy CA and click OK. This will result in adding the template to the Certificate Templates. In order to avoid the conflict between Microsoft CA and Komodo CA, the user should stop the MS CA service before installing Komodo CA. For this purpose, the user should click the Stop Service button to stop the Active Directory Certificate services. The next step is to install CCM CA proxy. Now the user should download CCMCA proxy installer and run the installer. Now the installation wizard appears on the screen. The welcome window appears. Here the user should click next to continue. In the license agreement window, the user should read the information and accept the agreement. The user should select the destination location where the CCM AD agent should be installed. The user should browse the folder 
where the CCM AD agent should be installed and click the next button. During the account information step, the user should set the domain username, domain password, CCM username, username and password for uh, CCM customers admin, and also CCM password should be set. When all this is complete, uh, click the next button. Now the user should set uh, the agent properties. Um, enter CCM server address, customer URI, and type the secret key to connect to CCM server and click next. Then the user should select the start menu folder and click next. The user can also select additional tasks like create a desktop icon and again click next. Uh, click install to complete the agent installation process, then click finish when the installation is complete. The result of this is that Komodo CCM CA proxy service is installed and started. Uh, for CCM server client configuration, the user should first prepare the customers for the AD connection. The user should log in to CCM super admin site. Select the customer smoke underscore 110 and click the edit button. In the pop-up window, the user should check the allow web service for SMIME processing checkbox, Active Directory support checkbox, enter the secret key and click OK. In order to create an organization slash department for the Active Directory user, which is on CCM site, the user should log in as a MRIO admin. When the user logs into the system, he should add a new organization. So he should click the Add button and in the pop-up window, General tab, should enter the organization name, which should be Active Directory Organization, fill in the address, city, postcode and country fields. In the Client Certificate tab, should uncheck the allow key recovery by master admin and allow principal name and click OK. In the settings, the user should select the created Active Directory organization and click the department button. The user should add the department name, fill in the address fields. In the client certificate tab, should uncheck the allow key recovery by organization admins and allow key recover recovery by department admins and click OK. In the domains tab, the user should select ccmqa.com and click the delegate button. The user should delegate the domain ccmqa.com to AD organization and department 115 org slash dep SSL and SMIME then click OK. The next step is to configure Active Directory users to add root certificate domain controller server uh, Active Directory uh, controller domain controller administrator so the user should start the server manager, select roles, then Active Directory Domain Services, then CCMQA Local, it's the domain name, ODS Organization Unit, uh, then select the user or create a new one. When the user is selected, the system opens the user's properties window. In the general tab, the email address should be entered. In the Organization tab, enter the job title, the name of the department uh, should be typed and the organization name as well. Then click OK. In order to add uh, a root certificate, the user should run the server manager. Click Features, then Group Policy Management, after that uh, Forest, CCMQA.local domains, select the domain 
ccmqa.local and uh, default domain policy. When the group policy management console window appears, the user should click OK. After that, right click on uh, the default domain policy and select edit. In the group policy management editor, select policy. Then window settings. After that, public key policies. Right click on the trusted root certification authorities and select import. The system displays the welcome page of the certificate import wizard. The user should go through the wizard and click next. The next step is to specify the file name. The user should browse the file and click the next button. After that, the user should specify where the certificate should be stored. By default, they will be stored in the certificate store uh, storage called Trusted Root Certification Authority. The user clicks next to continue. The last page of the wizard will display the specified settings. Click finish to complete the import. Now the user should select the public key policies. So he should select certificate service client, auto enrollment and click properties. For enroll user and computer certificated automatically configuration mode set enabled. Check renew expired certificates. Check update certificates that use certificate templates and save the settings. For manual certificate enrollment, the user should log in as a newly created AD user. In order to do this, the user should click Start, enter CertManager.msc and run it. In the displayed console, the user should select Certificates, Current User and Personal. Right click on Personal, select All Tasks, Request New Certificate. When the certificate enrollment wizard appears, the user clicks next to continue. The user selects certificate enrollment policy and clicks next. Request certificates step. Select CCM proxy CA and click enroll. This step will result in enrolling the certificate by CCM. On the CCM side, a new person was added with a downloaded certificate.